Hi, today we're going to take a look at some time-saving functions within Excel 2010. However, these functions are also available within the earlier versions of Excel. When we copy data across into an Excel spreadsheet or import it from another application, extra spaces can often be included within the text, as can be seen in this example on column A. To get rid of those unwanted spaces, we can use a very simple function called trim. We're going to select cell B1. We're going to type in there equals trim, open your brackets, select cell A1, close your brackets. We're then going to go to the formula bar and select the tick. And you'll see immediately that in cell B1, it's replicated what's in cell A1, but without those extra spaces between the first name and the surname. If we now select the fill handle in the bottom right hand corner of cell B1 and double click, you'll find it's done the same with the whole list in column A. We must remember, however, that column B is now linked to column A. So if we delete anything from column A, it will upset the formula within column B. Well, let's just try that. So let's delete column A and you'll see immediately that we get an error message up. I'm just going to go up to undo. The way around this will be to use something called paste special. So we're going to right click column B. We're going to go to the option copy. We're going to right click column B again and go to the option paste special and rather than bring the formulas across all we need to bring across are the values so we're going to select values the third option down and select OK to get, then get rid of the shimmering line around column B if you hit your escape key on your keyboard you now see that within column B as we click on all the names on the formula bar, it's no longer showing a formula, it's simply showing the text, which will now enable us to right click column A, select delete, and we have all our names tidily in one column. You may wish to tidy up the data further, for example, put it in the correct case. At present, the names are all in lowercase. We're going to select cell B1, we're going to type in equals proper, open the brackets, select cell A1 and close the brackets. We're going to select the tick, we're going to double click the fill handle in the bottom right hand corner and you'll find now that all the names start with the initial capitals. There are two other alternatives to this function. If we select back on cell B1, and this time let's type in equals upper, open brackets, select cell A1, and close brackets. We're going to select the tick, and again double click the fill handle, and that would put all your text into uppercase. Again, let's select cell B1. And we're going to type in equals lower, open brackets, select cell A1, close brackets, select your tick, double click the fill handle and it pops it all back into lowercase. The most popular function out of those options is the proper function which gives you the initial capitals. So let's go back to that one. We're going to select B1 type in equals, proper, open the brackets, select A1, close the brackets, select your tick, double click the fill handle. As in our previous example with the trim function, we will be able to delete column A. As you'll see from cell B1, on the formula bar, it's taking its function from column A. So we're going to right click B, we're going to go to copy, 
We're going to right click it again and go to pay special. We're going to tell it that we just want to bring across the values, being the third option down, and select OK. Again, let's hit the escape key on the keyboard to get rid of that shimmering line. And just to check that it's worked correctly, let's click on cell B1, take a look at the formula bar, and you'll now see it's just displaying the text. So we can now right click column A, we can go to delete, and we have our text all tidied up within the one column. On behalf of Alton V Learning and Development, I'd like to say thank you for viewing today's tip, and I hope you found it useful.